not really that much done on here so far. I'd like to be uh, putting the handlebars on, but in order to keep this as a uh, budget build, it's only half the money to order things directly overseas. Yeah, I noticed my stuff is falling apart. My little bracket here broke. Normally bolts here, so right now that's just zip tied. Speaking of zip ties, this uh, lower one I need to put on that I've had to cut off because it keeps the this is where I carry my MSR fuel bottle, keeps it closer up to the frame out of the front wheel. So they do make uh, adapters for these for mountain bikes, but it also pushes this out further. I've already got my fender tucked in. I know when the suspension goes down, everything kind of moves this way, which I had a problem before with my bottle hitting the fender. So I'm going to have to go up with something on that. Zip ties just aren't going to hold it. Or I can buy those big, huge ass industrial type zip ties. That might be better. Uh, worry about that later. Let's see, I also got to fit a trailer hitch back here. They do make them where well, they'll fit even on here with the skewers, but usually you have to grind around the bolt if you have fenders. So I might do the same thing I did on my other one and build a hitch that runs down between the uh, seat stay and the chain stay. It worked last time. What else am I doing here? Still not sure if I want to keep these uh, this kickstand on here or not. They're kind of heavy and when the bikes are loaded they don't hold up very well. Got the lowrider mount ones on here but Gonna have to get another uh, U-bolt to go around because I go over here. Yeah, that one gave up the ghost. I actually borrowed that one from the uh, wife's rack since I'm not doing that yet. Yeah, cheap metal or some 230 pound gorilla was at the end of that. What else did I do? See, I got some packages, but uh, hey, I can do an unpackaging video. Nah, I haven't even touched her bike yet, so. Hey, lots to do. What I'm doing right now, I'm trying to see how I want to attach this top. This doesn't carry that much weight. Last time I just had this metal strapping with holes. I don't know what it's actually called, but we used to call it plumber's tape or something like that. But I don't know whether to buy some, go around that way, or just simply put a little worm drive hose clamp just here across this brake boss here. I don't know. I might... I don't have the plumber's tape, but I do have hose clamps. So, I might do that just because it's cheap. Everything else is slowly going on here. Well, I'll get there. Guess what I should do check these out. I have a brand new smaller 60 liter bag. This down here is actually a rear pannier. I already know what's in there. That's a 70 liter. Not much difference, but I'll see if I like it or not. That's just a small triangular frame bag because I sent the other ones I had off with the uh, quadricycle. Anyhow, yeah, I'm really slow. But I'll get back at it. Well, I just set them up there to kind of see what they look like. Don't really look any bigger than my 60 liter ones. Yeah, comes with a useless rain cover. That bag's going to work. And a bit ghetto looking, but I went ahead and went with the uh, hose clamp idea. Oh well. It works. Anyway, it's getting cold out here, so maybe I'm going to give this up for right now and... Uh, Play around with it a bit more tomorrow. Alright, I'm out of here.